Ooh. Look at how fast that is. This entire part right here was lasered in one minute. Boom, crazy fast. Oh man, we're in Germany and we're at the Trump campus. And this is, it's not just a campus. It is like an entire city. It is building after building after building and then some. Trump is just about 100 years old. 99 to be exact and they have over 15,000 employees all around the world and they're doing big things so I'm gonna go meet a good friend of mine Rainer and he's gonna show us around Trump baby let's check this out Rainer Take what's up it. brother how are you the last absolutely. time we saw each other was in Texas absolutely Ooh, he came to visit. yeah this place is amazing thank you very much it's huge. Why don't we start actually with the history of Trump? Awesome. Okay. Thank you. Everything started in 1923 when Mr. Christian Trump acquired a company named Julius Geiger. 1934, the first motorized hand shears for cutting sheet metal. Already in 1947, we started actually with the stationary curve shears. In 1950, something happened. Mr. Uh, that's what Leibinger joined the company as an apprentice. He did his apprenticeship here for two years. After that, he studied um, at the university. He started to think about how we can improve the cutting process. And more or less, he said, forget what you have done before. Let's do it in another way. And more and more patents actually he developed. And 1972, we went here to Ditzinger. 1977, the founding of the Japanese um, subsidiary in Yokohama. In that year, Trump was actually starting, so in the 80s, was starting to think about laser and think about laser cutting. And he actually see one of the first prototypes of the laser, a one kilowatt CO2 laser. And that was actually the beginning of the big success story actually of Trump. And more and more applications. So laser cutting, of course, laser marking, laser welding. And also for us, that's why um, you're here Titan is actually additive manufacturing that we started again in 2015. We started already in the year 2000. We started with one machine, 2003, 2006, but there was not such a big market success we actually had so we stopped it in 2015 we started it actually again so and we are more than seven years now already in additive so welcome to the applications lab what i like most is this tower here it shows really nice what you can do with additive um, we have these um, hydraulic parts down here heat exchangers bionic structures we have some functions integrated here like the snap-in function here but you can see also we can use the material properties like the elasticity of the part to, to integrate uh, spring-like functions into our parts or even here we have this, this gear integrated you can see actually that the tip of the tower is rotating. This is all printed in one part here each of those parts are printed on the true print machines you can use every material you can weld and that you have in powder form whatever you can weld we can print it we use this in one of in trump's cutting heads to cool down this uh, motor formerly it was an assembly out of 10 parts and right now it's printed and it's just one one part with two thread holes factory area is divided by a street which is connecting two cities and due to our expansion we have built actually this tunnel system in order to bring parts from the one side to the other side. Oh man, check this out. Oh, these are actually pieces to a Porsche. Every part that you see has been laser cut, laser marked, laser welded from the, the seat to the door. Without Trump lasers, none of this would be done. So right now, I'm walking through these tunnels. They go in all directions and they come up into the buildings. This Trump campus is like a little city in itself. So that's actually the True Laser 5030 machine. That's one of our best laser cutting machine and high productive laser machine Trump actually has. And we are using a 12 kilowatt, 12,000 watts, 12,000 watts to cut parts. This is our standard program, one millimeter mild steel, cutting gases, nitrogen. Look at how fast that is. 50 meters per minute. Crazy speed. That's inside the laser head. We use this in Trump's cutting heads to cool down this motor. Formerly it was an assembly out of 10 parts and right now it's printed and it's just one, 
one part with two throttles. This component is moving the lens up and down and additively we have produced this part here to cool that component, right? That's made out of additive manufacturing on our machines here at Truppen 3000. Pretty awesome. Check out this entire part right here was lasered in one minute. It's made out of low carbon steel foam. Crazy fast. The facility is absolutely massive. It goes in every direction imaginable. Over 15,000 employees. So that's actually a power tool which was developed to clean the slats of the laser cutting machine. Hmm. So combining, you know, the technologies, yeah. power tools, laser cutting machine. It's the hat and we move it back and forth, right? And can take away the slat here. That's the Trove Power Tool, TSC 100. For roof and facade, for example. So we still remain with that business, actually besides all our big business, but that's the history of Trump. That's the beginning. So that's the Trooper in 1000 Green Edition. Green Edition because we're using a green laser. And with that, actually, we can produce copper parts and couple of alloy parts. That is the True Laser 3030 laser cutting machine with 12,000 watts. So this is like one of your premium laser. That's the premium laser. This is the yeah. highest laser power we have at the moment for laser cutting, not for anything yeah. else. 50 millimeter thick. This is the thickness of the steel plate that can be lasered on this machine right here. Crazy. That's the power you can actually do with that bending sensor, completely automated. You just put the sheet metal on and then it bends automatically. That's the True Laser Center 7030 machine, a fully automated laser cutting machine. And then we take it out by our sword master speed and bring it to these kind of pellets. So we don't have to sort the parts afterwards. They are already sorted and sitting on pellets and you can take it directly out of the machine. That True Laser Center 7030 is really the next generation of laser cutting fully automated. So we're in the manufacturing section for additive here at Trump. Now one of the cool things about Trump is they're actually printing their own parts for their own machines. And this is a filter cooler and they printed it all the way to this point and they put it into a fixture and the fixture is actually 3D printed itself. So they're holding a 3D printed part with a fixture that has been 3D printed and they finish machine it. Then they machine the threads and the sealing surfaces. But most of it was already done on the 3D printer. Beautiful. Actual parts being used on their machines that they print in-house, post-machine, and boom, there's the finished part. I think it's important for all of us to think about how everything that we touch in life has been manufactured, unless you're in the woods. Everything has been manufactured, it's been molded, it's been machined, it's been laser cut, it's been formed. This is just a great example right here. Parts from a Porsche. Oh, 